Welcome back. David Ashley Parker may be from Powder Springs, but the man behind that hit country song and many others grew up right here in central Georgia. I got a chance to talk with Travis Denning about his roots in Warner Robins and his rise to the top of country music charts. Mainly just uh, writing a lot of songs, trying to find a little good and all this craziness. Like for many artists around the country, the COVID-19 pandemic forced Travis Denning off the stage. I miss it. I miss playing music for people. That's what I was born to do, and I can't wait to get back out and do it. But 2020 has still been pretty good to Denning. He released his debut EP, Beer's Better Cold, and watched his song after a few climb to number one on country radio and turn gold. It's been crazy. I'm so thankful. Denning says he's also thankful for his central Georgia roots that got him there. The nights I think about when I write songs, I think about Westlake Road in, in Twiggs County, right by my you know, my parents' house where we rode dirt roads. And He started writing songs as a teenager and played anywhere people would listen. After graduating from Warner Robins High School in 2011, Denning took his talents north to Nashville. About five months in, I thought, I mean, I know it's not supposed to happen really fast, but I'm like, God, I need I need something like I got to keep this this fire going. That's about the time Denning landed a songwriting deal and went on to help write several hits for major artists. One of his first, All Out of Beer, recorded by another Central Georgia star, Jason Aldean. But Denning still had his own dreams of being in the spotlight. Being on the road, and the fun times and the hard times, all that, that's what I love. So. I knew songwriting was going to be my car to get me there, but ultimately that was going to be my destination. Well, pretty soon, Denning signed with a recording label and released his first top 40 hit, David Ashley Parker from Powder Springs. From then on, it was just nose to the grindstone and trying to outright my last best song and just try to get better on stage. And in many of his songs, you can still hear his appreciation for where it all began. Warner Robins is definitely not a small town, but you know, football is king on Friday nights, and that's what you did, you know. And, and I grew up going to the same, like, three restaurants that you'll never find anywhere else in the world. But then it was big enough to, you know, have a road to go to Atlanta and go up to Macon. That kind of mix of roots and wings, I think, is a big part of what made growing up in Warner Robins really special for me. Uh, Denning just released a new song, Good Years, and I think you'll recognize some of the places in his music video. He had plans to tour with two other Georgia boys, Sam Hunt and Kip Moore, this summer, and he hopes that will eventually happen. Now, I did a fun rapid-fire question and answer session with Denning. Hear who he'd most like to share a stage with. You probably wouldn't guess it. That and more is in this story on 13WMAZ.com.